Here are some very spooky vinyl Halloween bats that I'll transform into copper electroform necklaces, then show you some advanced finishing techniques at the end. Silver plating, brush plating, nickel plating, rainbow patina. Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and let's make some bats. First, I'm going to plug the holes with epoxy sculpt. After curing, I cleaned it up with a file and made holes in the wings with a watch band punch. This is a really cool tool to have. Now I'm going to cover the bat with conductive paint. I have another video on conductive paint with all sorts of tips. Even if you are experienced, I would recommend watching it. You want a good even coat and make sure that you get all the edges. With my paint recipe, you get a really good smooth finish and perfect details. Attach the hang wires to the punched holes and we are ready to put it into the tank. At what setting? 0.1 amp per square inch and here's an easy way to figure out your surface area. Trace the bat on graph paper. Count the squares. We have 26. See these partial squares? Count them also and add it to the tally for a total of 28. The surface area is 28 cm. But I need square inches, and this graph paper is in cm, so I convert it to inches using this formula, and it comes out to 4.34. Don't forget to double it as both sides will be plated. So the total surface area is about 8.7 square inches. If maths is not your thing, then Google this converter. Hey, if this helps you in any way, please like, subscribe, and say hi in the comments. It really helps. Based off the surface area, we will be plating at 0.87 amps, but if you start at the full calculated amount, the plating will be very crumbly and won't stick to the conductive paint. So let's start at 0.1 amps and slowly build up the current as the plating spreads. Now let's put the bat in the bath. See the cage in the back of my tank? It's an anode cage, and that will make your electroform journey so much easier. All right, it's been a few minutes at 0.1 amp, and the plating is spreading. I'll increase the current slowly, and this is something that you'll get a feel for with experience. Here I took the bat out of the bath to show you what it looks like as the plating spreads. When checking one of the pieces, I noticed a spot that didn't plate. I probably just missed it as both the paint and the bat are black. Sometimes these spots just heal during the plating process, but I didn't want to risk it. So I took it out and touched it up with my fast drying conductive touch up paint. And back into the bath it goes. It's been about 15 hours and since it's going to be a pendant and the bat itself is very durable, the plating does not have to be super thick, so I'm done plating. It looks really good, nice and bright. Let's give it a rinse and take it to my bench. All my Electroform projects are done using my Electroform sets and Lustro Electro Super Bright Electroform Brightener available on my website and Etsy shop. All items ship anywhere in the world. Links in the description below. These bats are right out of the bath. All I did was rinse them off. The texture on the hang wires was for me dialing up the current a little too fast from the beginning. Otherwise, they are super bright thanks to Lustro Electro Super Bright Electroform Brightener. Now I'll just clean them up a bit. On this bat, there were a lot of growths on the high current area, probably due to a low acid in the tank. Just add a little bit of acid and that should solve this. Anyway, they were pretty easy to remove and only took about two minutes to clean this up with my wire clipper. Then I went over the remaining rough spots with a coarse file. After that, I changed to a silicon wheel to give it a bit of a polish and then drilled out the holes where the jump rings will go. Looking good, but let's make it brighter. Here are two bats, one right out of the bath and one that I electropolish after my cleanup work. See the difference? Electropolishing brings out the shine even more. I'll cover that in another video. Here is quickly what that process looks like. Ah, so cool. And when using my recipe, anyone can do it. Now I want to give each one a different finish. Since they will be plated finishes, I electro clean them first. This gets the surface ready for plating. This is brush plating. Not much additional equipment is needed and a very simple process that allows you to give a decorative finish to all your pieces. This is nickel plating, easier than electroforming and vital if you want to also do gold or silver plating. Durable on its own and gives a protective tarnish resistant bright silver colored plating. Pro tip, add jump rings before giving the piece a surface treatment so that they match perfectly when you are finished. And for the next plated finish, silver plating. This can be done directly over the copper or for best results, plated over the nickel. This one's nickel and this one's silver and all three finishes side by side. The next one is a patina finish. I have two videos on how to make the LOS yourself. One only takes about five minutes. If you dip it in and watch the color, you can get a really nice rainbow patina or soak it and get an even gunmetal color. And if you don't like the results, I sell an instant patina remover dip 
remove, rinse, start over. It allows you to get the perfect patina every time. I'll do the next step before adding the chains. I'll wax them. Wax recipe in another video. This will protect the surface and prevent tarnish. Apply wax, let dry, then buff, and remember, keep on plating and creating. See you in the next video.